Hey everyone, look what it is. It's 2023, and we have an, well, MP3 player. To be honest, it plays more than just MP3s, and they're referred to as digital media players or digital music players. This is the NW-A306. It's taken the industry by light rain. I don't want to say storm because it is just a music player. The thing about music players nowadays is that no one makes them. Reason being, the phone has taken 100% of the job of the music player, so there's no real reason to have a dedicated standalone unit anymore. But Sony keeps doing it. Pretty much iPods owned the world when it came to that category, but Sony seems to just keep trudging along making new units. It's weird that it opens from the bottom. If you're superstitious, you should never open a box which is orientated upwards from the bottom. I'm not superstitious. Now they have said that no plastics were used in the packaging of this device. Let's see. So we have some paper here. Ooh, nice heft to that. I like that. I like a nice hefty device, honestly. And we have paper tray here. And we have a paper lower insert that shares this tab. No, it does not. Do I just pull it out like this? I do. And plastic, obviously, in the USB cable because plastics are utilized in silicones in USB cabling. And a ton of documentation. If you know anything about retail packaging in Japan is that they love their paperwork. Yes, we're in a world with robots and the greatest toilet technology on the planet. And we have fax machines and paperwork. So it's a little bit of a split society kind of thing. We have a lot of information here. It does come in English and Japanese depending on the location you are in and if you order these locally in your area you'll have your own language and you get your warranty card. So that's everything that comes in the box. There is no plastic anywhere in this entire box. Even there's no tape. There's not, not even any tape on the whole thing. So that is really nice to see. It honestly is. This is the thinnest wafer paper we've ever seen on a device. A lot of manufacturers are using this semi-transparent kind of thick pile, thick cardstock paper. This is really light. So let's look at the unit now to see what we're working with. The thing about this is that they're trying to not rejuvenate a lost sector of consumer electronics, but just to keep the Walkman line of devices going. They used to have Walkman phones back in the day. And this basically picks up the slack as a phone. It has a screen, it has Android 12, it has apps, so you can sideload in APKs, it obviously has audio, and it has a micro SD card slot. You do get a lot of power out of this. Now, before we do a first time boot up, and before we get into the review in a future video, there's a couple selling points is that it utilizes AI to upscale and bring back a lot of the lost subtleties that we just don't hear on a day to day. And the actual solder utilized in the PCB is gold, which has higher conductivity properties than regular old steel, chromium, nickel blend, whatever they use for traditional soldering nowadays. We are going to get into a full time, full blown review on this, but for now, we're just going to do a quick startup and show you guys what it looks like. Yes, this should be kind of an old school Xperia type phone when you get into it, which is funnily enough because I am an avid Sony user and I do use an Xperia 1 Mark III. From here, it allows you to select from page one, which is a default home, which is a standard Android, or play page two, Walkman home. And we're going to do the Walkman one because that's obviously what we want to prioritize. We're not using this as a and as an Android device, although it is pretty funny. I have to show you this right now just to give you a little bit of scale. This thing is like a toy. Look how small that is. This thing, tall, is as wide as the phone Sony makes right now. I'm not entirely sure why Sony made this. I mean, they hold, what, 1% market share in cell phones. Does anyone really care about audio anymore? But you know what? There may be room for this sector to come back or at least still exist with some sort of validity. So we are going to continue on this journey. We are going to utilize this unit for a full review we can't wait it's got a lot of stuff going for it it's supposed to be amazing in the sound department we're gonna play it we're going to do it justice and get some really good speakers this is everything that comes in the box so far with the sony nwa 306 the absolute latest 
in, I guess, digital media player technology in the year 2023. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.